Let's learn how to solve a linear inequality. For example, let's solve the following inequality for v and write our answer in interval notation. Now for the most part, when we solve linear inequalities, we proceed in the same way as we do when we solve linear equalities. However, there is one difference which we'll see. Let's begin by getting the negative 7 to the right-hand side, or we'll add 7 to each side. In other words, we have minus 7 plus 7 plus 4v is greater than or equal to negative 15 plus 7. And negative 7 plus 7 is 0. They'll cancel. And we're left with 4v greater than or equal to negative 8. Now let's divide both sides by 4, which is exactly the point we need to be careful. This is where the difference between inequalities and equalities comes up. If this number 4 would have been a negative number, we would have had to flip or reverse the direction of that inequality. In other words, in general we have the following, that when we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a positive number, the inequality stays the same, like in this case. However, when we multiply or divide by a negative number, we flip the inequality sign. Okay, so we don't have to flip our inequality here, so we have v greater than or equal to negative 2. Let's look at this on a number line. Here's negative 2. v can equal negative 2 and anything to the right. Now we are asked to put our answer in interval notation. Doing this, we have close bracket, negative 2, because we want to include negative 2, up to positive infinity, which would be our answer. All right, let's see another example. Let's solve the following inequality for x and write our answer in interval notation. Again, we'll begin by getting this number negative 15 to the right, or adding 15 to both sides. So we have minus 3x minus 15 plus 15 is greater than 3 plus 15. And negative 15 plus 15 is 0. They'll cancel. And we're left with negative 3x is greater than 18. And now let's divide both sides by negative 3. However, remember that when we divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, we have to flip this inequality sign. That is, we need to flip the greater than and make it a less than. So we get x is less than negative 6. Okay, let's look at this again on the number line. It's negative 6. We do not want x to equal negative 6, so we put an open circle, and then less than, everything to the left of negative 6. And again, we're asked to put our answer in interval notation. Therefore, our answer is negative infinity up to negative 6, open parenthesis because we do not want x to equal negative 6. Now, if we didn't want to worry about dividing by this negative, we could have started just a bit different here. We still have the same inequality, minus 3x minus 15, greater than 3. But then, if we bring the minus 3x to the right, or add 3x to both sides, and bring the 3 to the left, or subtract 3 from both sides, what do we get? We have minus 15 minus 3 is greater than positive 3x, or negative 18 is greater than positive 3x. And now when we divide, this number's positive, so we don't have to worry about the inequality flipping. So we get x less than negative 6, which we can write in the other direction, x less than negative 6, which is our same answer. 
All right, this is how we solve linear inequalities. Just remember to be careful when you multiply or divide by a negative number. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.